Hi, my name is John. Today we're going to make a quick tutorial in a software called SolidWorks. This is the first page that comes up when you enter SolidWorks. So what we need to do is go into start a new project or document. We're going to create a part today and part is already selected. So we're going to hit OK. So now we are in model space. So what we need to do is go into sketch and create a sketch. So our sketch is going to be on the top plane and I want to create a rectangle. So I'm going to do the rectangle command, come over here to the origin and create a rough rectangle. Hit OK and hit escape to unselect the rectangle. So what SolidWorks is telling us is that our part is undefined. As you can see there's some blue lines and if your part has blue lines your part is undefined so what you need to do is dimension your part so smart dimension I'm gonna do the width and I'm gonna call it five inches and then I'm gonna do the length and call it three inches and hit OK then I'm going to extrude the part and I'm gonna do an extrusion of one inch hit OK now we have a feature of our part completed, we need to create another sketch. So we're going to go to sketch, select sketch, and we're going to select the uh, top plane of our feature. There's going to be another rectangle as a feature on this top plane. So we're going to select rectangle, create a rectangle on the part. Just to see a little better, I'm going to go into the top view. So what we need to do is create some relations and what relations do is it allows the features to move with a part instead of confining it to a dimension. So right here is display delete relations underneath it you can see some more commands and we're going to go to add relation. We're going to create a relation between this corner of the rectangle and this corner of the bottom feature and it's going to be collinear hit OK go display relation add relation and do the same for this side collinear one more time in the back side and the back side so we're going to do the back side in the back side of the feature and it's going to be collinear so that will allow it to adjust with a part so now we just have to say the width of that feature to have the feature be fully defined. I'm going to say 3 inches. Hit OK. And then I want to go to Features, Extrude. Extrude that feature up 3 inches. Hit OK. I'm going to look normal to the part. And actually I want to put a chamfer on the part also so underneath fill it there's the chamfer command select chamfer select this edge and select this edge and I want to have a half inch chamfer so 0.5 enter yeah that looks about right so now I want to work on this plane so what I need to do is go to sketch select sketch and select the plane. And to see better, I'm going to select the top plane. Then just move a little bit. So I want to create a rectangle for a slot. So what I'm going to do is create a rectangle, hit OK. And I want to create a construction line to work off of to add relations to later. So I'm going to select line, go to the middle of the rectangle just to get a center, center line, select this line, say for construction, hit OK, escape. So now I can do a relation between this point and this line. So we're going to go to add relation, this point, this line, and we're going to say midpoint. So it will be in the middle of the part always. Hit escape. 
we're going to do smart dimension again. We need this. Now I want to say an inch and a half. And we need this dimension. And a half inch looks pretty good. Okay. So we're going to go to features. And we need to do an extrude cut. So just to have it always be conforming with the part, instead of a blind extrude cut, we're going to do a through all. And hit OK. So this is the, the model that we ended with. So we're going to take it a little bit farther. So we're going to save our document. And I am just going to call this block. We're going to come up here and under new document, you can do the advanced, select the advanced. Uh, and we're going to make a drawing from the part. So this is going to put our part to the sheet. So this is going to be what the operator sees. And I want an A1 sheet. So I, we're going to just do a typical layout. So front is going to be on first. Top is above it. Right is to the right. And isometric is up top. And then over here in the advanced panel, uh, you can see in the display style, you can say select the uh, object lines and the hidden lines. So we're going to do that and hit OK. Well, give me one second here. We're going to do it now and see, you can now see it took. Hit OK. We're going to go to the annotations. And you can see that this box is selected for our front view. What we're going to do is go to model items. Instead of selected feature in our sources destination, we're going to say entire model and hit OK. That gives us the all the dimensions for the front uh, view. So we're going to go in and just organize it a little bit so it looks better for the operators. This streamlines it a lot more than AutoCAD does, which AutoCAD is good for doing three views and isometrics, but I vastly prefer SolidWorks uh, in that point. So we're going to do that for the top view and the right view also. So we're going to select the top view. We're going to say model items, entire model, hit OK, and our dimensions have popped up. We will see why you need the CAD drafter to uh, make these decisions instead of SOLIDWORKS very shortly when we run into a slight issue. Alright, so with this dimension here, if I go over to my right view and select it and go to model items and do the entire part, there is no dimensions that can be put on that uh, uh, view because all the dimensions are already defined. So what I'm going to do, because it's typically frowned upon to have no dimensions on a view and have it be on the blueprint, is this dimension can be transferred over to this view. So, <laughs> give me one second here. right here and right here and then right here so having done that it at least gives uh, the operator some information about that view so as you can see we went from making a model to putting it on the sheet tune into our next videos we should be coming out with more tutorials thanks for listening please hit the like button thank you